paintings are full of unsolved mysteries. To understand the mystery of each picture, you have to get acquainted with the life and thoughts of its creator. Its creator. Let these paintings come to life. To life. Watch our new TV program at the gallery. His art feels like if it was penetrated with and it relates him to the deep roots of folk art, to the art traditions which we have known for centuries and even millenniums. Nurlan Kilibayev was born on the 18th of March 1989 in Ustabet town in Todukogan region. In 1995, he graduated from the Department of Arts and Graphic Art of Abai Almaty State University, the member of the Union of Artists of Kazakhstan, laureate of Darin State Award. His works are kept in numerous private collections in Kazakhstan and abroad. He has found his own niche which is very important for the artist. Earlier, in the Soviet times, in the times of censorship, when nothing was allowed, it was quite hard for the artists, for they needed to say something, but they weren't allowed to speak. That's why various ways and methods were searched for. The problem of the contemporary art now is that everything is allowed. While before your voice has been so in the crowd, now it is the sound of many voices, a purely polyphonic occurrence. It is quite difficult to be distinguished from the crowd, to make your voice be heard and your hand be known and your paintings be recognized. This is what the own niche is required for. And to my mind, Nurlan Kilibayev has got such a niche. Today, Nurlan Kilibayev is a participant of the Republican and international exhibitions. But he gains success not at once. Kilibayev's paintings were winning viewers' hearts gradually. The experts also noted and appreciated novelty and individuality of the artist's manner. In his days, my teacher said, guys, the theme you select as your dissertation, you will live with as artists if you choose to stay in art. I painted the portrait of a girl in a national style. It wasn't the exact girl. It was just a female image dressed in a national costume. I based on silver decorations. Well, generally speaking, it was as though my teacher saw it in a crystal ball. I got working with portraits, the female images in particular. The main theme of this master is women's portraits. He tries to uncover the inner world of each of his characters. To catch the thin line between the past and the present, between the youth and the maturity. According to Nurlan Kilibayev, each woman has her own mystery, the secret of her charm, womanliness and beauty. Today, we shall discover the world of images of this wonderful artist through his significant painting, Bopai. Bopai painting by Nurlan Kilibayev, 2017. Painting size 165 by 165 centimeters. Oil on canvas. Bopai is one of the bright female characters in the history of Kazakhs. In the history of nomad Kazakhs. To some extent, it is the generalized character female fighter. But she is not cruel at all. Yes, she is relentless. Yes, she will protect her homeland, protect people she loves. I wanted to immerse the viewer will see the painting into the atmosphere in which the character of this painting is, so that the viewer looking at the painting would imagine himself to be the warrior, standing in the same troop, in the same row and looking at the leader Bopai. The painting is conditionally divided into two parts. 
In the upper part, we see the sky. And in the lower part, we see the group of people headed by Bopai. Notably, all characters of this painting are painted very, very accurately, both people and animals. One way or another, he always turns to the images of the strong women, even if it is not seen visually. Even if it is a delicate, lyrical image, if it is a beauty covered with precious decorations, timidly looking out of a curtain or from behind the verge of her veil, these images are still very significant. And the still core hides beneath internal fragility. When I paint woman's image, the fact that she wears jewelry doesn't mean that she's taken from certain epoch. It is a quite real image of a modern girl who just wears this jewelry. A woman who is a flower in the desert, but at the same time she is firm, adamant as a steel spear, and her word can sting as the sharpest blade. But at the same time she possesses the whole compositions of qualities, peculiar for the oriental beauty. Her eyes, her eyebrows, her lips, and a delicate stature. She possesses everything that the classics write of. Her neck is as tender as falcon's flocks. Mokhtar Awezov wrote about Abba's beloved woman. This all might be found in Nurland's works. At the same time, we see the steel well. Kilibayev emphasizes his character's romanticism by the unusual atmosphere in which he places them. Women's figures are as if surrounded by the motion of colorful masses, which form single whole with them, one passionate outburst. Artist's imagination is boundless. His picture and colors get musicality. Here are artifacts. There is a costume, weapons, and, for example, decorations, which keep silence. I see and imagine a person who wore these things. And now, by the will of fantasy, I take these things on him, plunge him into a certain atmosphere, brighten him, and create his expressions. And I become a composer of the things I make it of. Although the painting does not depict a battle and nothing indicates a future combat, the whole painting is just penetrated with presentiment of something inevitable, of something tragic. His women are always diverse, while men's images are always identical. They are strong, mighty warriors in various moments of their existence, with naked swords or without. But women are absolutely diverse. They are young maids and young mothers, rocking cradles. When we look at this work, we can hear the soft melodiousness of voice. It's a deep step timbre, which is similar to the sound of land itself. It is a bit dull, but at the same time it's very touching. They are the women who will take up weapons without any words, and they are women who at the same time are the stronghold of wisdom. The artist achieves the most heart-rending sounds in a big painting, Basic Jury, Lullaby. The viewer looks into this enchanting canvas and hears mother's looting melody, rocking a child in a cradle. I had idols for sure. Of course, it is the Russian school of itinerant artists, Repin and Serov. So the accent is on realistic picture. So it is realism in its open, pure form. In some course, I got inclined toward decorativism. I saw that decor may also be present in realism. 
The right example for me here were Austrian artist Gustav Klimt and graphical artist Alfons Mucha. Their influence is felt in my first works, the nuances peculiar for the artist, who were ideals for me at the time. They are felt particularly well in my first works. Historical reference. The name of an Austrian artist, illustrator and one of the founders of modern painting, Gustav Klimt, for many people is associated with the luxuriance of the early 20th century. Praising women's beauty and natural eroticism, the artist left much space for the viewer's imagination. His most prominent work is The Kiss. Czech artist Alfons Bruca also worked in the style of modern. Luxurious, sensuous and languishing Mucha's women were momentarily replicated and spread with thousand turnovers on placards, postcards and playing cards. Zodiac, Reverie, Medea are several of the painter's famous works. Love, passion and ultimate bareness of feelings. This is what Nolan Kilibar's works are filled with. The artist manages to avoid themes and motives. Each of his new works is the result of thorough creative pursuit. As my paintings are based on the folk art, clothes and decorations and some rites are presenting them. I learn from craftsmen who make decorations. Those are things that Kazakhs made in medieval times, where it is crockery. Apart from its utilitarian function for drinking, the crockery, the way it was made, its shape and the ornaments on the items were not occasional. Everything had its own message. And this is what is probably conveyed. I wanted that my paintings also contain some things that be not just beautiful. A blue spot and place it wherever you want, adding dosal. I add this thing consciously so that it has a certain message. So that it would be interesting to look at it, to read it for the viewer who looks at the painting. The stone ball pole is silently looking at what is going on around. But it is not just a detail on the painting. A stone monument is a symbol of step. It spiritualizes the whole work. We see the fiery eyes, we see the compressed lips, we see the stressed body. What is absent in Nolan Kilibar's works? There is no cruelty, but at the same time he creates an atmosphere. Not vainly did I compare his works with folk art, because it is never boring to look at the folk art. Whether it was the art of weaving carpets or jewelry art or wood carving, any kind of folk art is never boring. They are attracting. And this is what attracts a new land art. Behind the artwork simplicity and clarity, there is a penetration into images added with the complexity of his painting structure. Bow Pie painting was created in 2015 specially for the contest dedicated to the 550th anniversary of Kazakh Hanat. For this work, Nolan Kilibayev was awarded with Abu Khan Kastev gold medal. When this theme was announced, of course I started searching. There is a theme, but how it should be presented? Of course I started studying literature. I thought that there was a quite a stereotype approach to show the history of Kazakhstan through the battles, through some martial plot lines where the main aspect is a man. A man butter, a man come. 
Was the history of Kazakhstan formed just on man's images? No one argues that's the way it was, and it is documentarily fixed that they were. It is mentioned in songs, it is told in folk tales and in ambassador's notes. But I thought that I would use my forte, the thing which is interesting and close to me, through a woman's image. I turned to historians and art experts. Are there any women who contributed in Kazakh history? And to my surprise, it turned out that there were many of them. Nurlan Kilibayev is often compared with the Russian painter, master of historic and folklore painting Viktor Vasnetsov. And it is not a mere chance. When we speak of Vasnetsov, of course we see the images of the Russian bogatyr, legendary knight, who was strong and calm. Probably this is what relates the artists, such a view. The internal power and self-confidence, projection into the future. If you remember Vasnetsov, three bogatyrs, it is the projection into the future. God in their land, they look into the distance, not just watch the enemies, but they look what is going to happen to our generation in the future. They address to the viewer. Indeed, his work works are frontal. The plotline of this painting closes in numerous squadrons. The author achieves this effect of presence due to effects of shading and color. Smoke of the flaming torches is the evidence that there is a mass of people behind Bopai. The thing is that there are not so many documents that may be absolutely confidently relied on. That's why Nurlan Kilibayev often turns to the method of comprehension of the exact situation. In this case, the work is the illustration of such perception. According to the available chronicles, Bopai was a woman who had adult sons, whom she leads to crusade against foes. But in this painting, he deliberately reduces her age, creating the generalized image. She is not a young girl, but at the same time, she is not an old woman. Because she is the symbol, the symbol of free expression of the will. The artist contraposes color and darkness using contrast combinations. The first pair of contrast combinations is a blue tone in the darkness in the left side of the painting and yellow and orange flashes of fire in the right. The second color combination includes green flashes on the main characters of the canvas and red and orange flashes of torches. Thus, suing the contrast combinations, the artist achieves canvases of the amazing expression. Bopai is sitting on a horse, listening and looking into the night sky, as if she is catching the slighted nuances of what is going on above. What should be solved? How it will be in the result? What will be the decision of the spirits of ancestry? What would she hear? How can she use it? How can she interpret it? How would she lead her people? What would she think? What attracts her here? And if she would hear what the spirits of ancestry want to tell her? Nulan Kilibayev possesses the amazing talent to back away from everyday life and exactness. In spite of the thorough, detailed depiction in each work, he strives after penetrating through the moonlight veil, pour flaming torch and twinkle of candle. These artistic images are full of mysteries, and his paintings have philosophic implication.
This master creates his own world filled with bright colors, unusual effects of light and delicate images. Kilobar's women are the earthly and at the same time exalted creatures, but they are never heavy-footed. They are creatures of love who has come to this world with a special mission. This is what the beautiful painting of the Kazakhstani artist Norlan Kilibayev tells us about.